Hey everybody, this is Tommy from Alderman Farms. It's been a while since we checked on the bees in the LSU uh, horizontal hive the, with the Layens deep frames. And so it's a beautiful Sunday afternoon. I figured it'd be a good day to take a peek and see what's happening in the hive since we last visited. Come on in. The first thing I noticed when I cracked open the hive is I'm really not sure what this is. Take a look. It's a uh, Got some tiny little bugs. I've got some, it almost feels or looks like some moisture has gotten in here. I don't know. I'm going to have to check on, I'm going to have to get Randy and uh, my bee expert friends to tell me what they think is going on here. But I'm probably going to clean this out of here. It's kind of disturbing, but we'll see. All right, let me, uh, let me put my hood on and... Just in case, my bees are generally not very defensive, but who knows? Today's a different day, right? One thing I have noticed about this, the horizontal uh, hive design that, and I, this, I actually purchased this hive pre-assembled from horizontalhive.com, Dr. Leo and his team uh, assembled it for me and it's made out of, of, of it, one by lumber or, or actually two by I'm sorry which is technically an inch and a inch and a half thick so it provides a tremendous amount of insulation in colder climates but also in warm climates we've had days here in the mid 90s and I've come out here and checked on the beehive in those very hot days and I've seen no bearding at all um, and it's probably because there's an open area of the hive that they can hang out in when it's too hot. And also because I've, I've got them under shade, which uh, makes hive beetles a little bit more of a problem. Uh, but hopefully the hive is strong enough to take care of the hive beetles. But it does provide them shade and helps to uh, regulate the temperature. I'm wishing I'd have wore a ball cap underneath my hood today because it's just falling right down on my ears and it's going to knock my glasses off. Give me just a minute. My fire's going out, and I'll be right back. I can hear them a-buzzing. Yeah, we've got a bunch of hive beetles. Help them out and smash as many as I can. All right, the uh, when I look at the last time we were in here, I added a couple of frames to see if they because it seemed like they were needing some room, but that may have been a mistake. They got that one pretty well propolized to the next one, but they haven't done much to it, to this one. There's some holes chewed in the wax, but I don't know if the bees did that or if predators did that. Pests, should I say, not predators. I don't know, we'll set that to the side. And it looks like on, on the leading edge of this next frame in here, looks like nothing's been done. Mm. Yep, they haven't touched it. I may have given them too much room to defend. Here's another one. All right, so this one, it looks like they haven't done anything on this side, but it looks like they've done some work on the other side. At least that's what it looks like from here.
could be wrong. No, they have started drawing this out. All right, so I'm probably going to leave this one here. I'll leave this one in. They've definitely they've done some drawing out. I'm a little concerned here. Now I have seen I've seen bees coming in here loaded down with pollen as recently as yesterday. I didn't come out and look this morning. We do our morning walk. I did not swing by here this morning. But, so, you can see where they've been drawing out on this, but I'm wondering about this part right here in the middle. Oh, and there's some on this other side too. That, where it looks like they've chewed it out. I don't know. I'm seeing some of that on this other side as well. I see hive beetles. So, I don't know. Well, I was really hoping to see some more development. Okay. Here's another frame that is partially drawn out, but that's it. So, partially drawn out to about here. I'm really getting nervous now that I'm going to come in here and find, uh, I'm hoping I'm going to find some brood or the, the queen. This next frame, it looks like there had been brood, but it looks like after they hatched, they hadn't been used again. So I'm not sure what's happening here. I'm hearing more bees. So maybe I'm getting close to some positive activity here. The last time we were together, I did manage to spot the queen. Uh, there's nothing in there. Nothing in any of those cells. Obviously, it looks like there was brood there. Nothing in any of these cells. Completely empty. Nothing in any cells. Okay, good news on the next one. So I think this was, I think this was a frame that I added 
to make sure that they had room to expand and they are drawing it out All right, I'm happy to report that it looks like in the middle of the brood nest, I've got cap brood. So that tells me that I probably I must have a queen or I've had a queen here in the last few days. Now there's no honey up at the top, so I'm curious about that. I need help, fellas. Tell me what's happening. I got brood, and but there's no honey at the top. Same thing on the other side of this. I've got capped brood. I see, I think I see eggs. I expected to see more bees in this hive. I guess it's uh, completely possible that I missed a swarm at some point in time. I'm a little puzzled that there's no honey at the top of these frames. I see larva. Okay, I do. I see eggs and tiny little larva. So that's encouraging. Cap brood, eggs, and tiny larva. But I'm not seeing, and I see bee bread. But there's no honey up at the top. There was honey up here. All along this top up here, there should be honey. And there isn't. I don't know why. Same thing on the other side. I've got cap brood. I see larva. I see eggs. So I've got a queen who's laying, but why isn't there? I wonder if that's her down here. I wonder if they're down here protecting her. I'm not sure. But why isn't there any honey in this hive, in this colony? Very puzzling.
and it looks like the same thing in the next one. By the way, it's August 31st. I don't understand what's happening. I've got brood. I've got eggs. I've got bee bread, but I'm not seeing nectar or honey anywhere. More brood. Bee bread. Eggs and larva. No honey at the top. I haven't seen any capped honey in this hive. Lots of brood. Bee bread. No honey. Same thing on the final frame, looks like to me. Or the first frame. Depending on how you look at it. Yep. No honey. There's no damage. I haven't seen any damage other than that uh, the frame we looked at right here that's on, that you can see. If in fact that's damage, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I just don't know. These bees appear to be busy doing something. Boy, there's a ton of hive beetles on this one. Ton of hive beetles. Ton of hive beetles. There are lots of hive beetles on this frame. Got a queen, didn't see her, but I've got eggs, I've got larvae, various stages of development. And I've got pupa, various stages of development.
So, I don't know if I made a terrible mistake by adding the frames that I added last time. I guess this board has swelled because I can't get it to go. Oh, there it goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm reducing this down to eight, eight frames. Oh man. I'm puzzled. <laughs> you know, granted, I'm new at this. And, um, you know, as of right now, I'm thinking uh, uh, it's my fault for adding too many extra frames. But if I had added too many frames, which I think obviously I did because they have not expanded. If anything, they've contracted, so that tells me that perhaps I did miss a swarm. But here's what I know. I've got a queen, or I had a queen within the last three days because I saw eggs. And it's my understanding that eggs remain eggs for three days before they start forming into a larva. So I saw some eggs. I saw some baby, some new larva, some older larva. I saw some pupated larva, some capped brood, and actually saw one, at least one new bee uh, coming out of his pupa, her pupa, uh, pupated state. But there was no honey, none. I didn't see any nectar. Um, I did see some bee bread. But I don't understand it because I can sit here in front of this hive and watch bees come in here loaded with pollen, one right after the other. I think I counted four or five in a row the other day with huge, bright yellow pollen. So I'm going to have to send this video to Off Grid, my, my buddy Doug at Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, Dr. Leo, Randy at 628 Dirt Rooster Bees and get their take on what the heck is happening here. Uh, but just in case I can't, you know, I, I, I want to be as natural as possible, but I don't want to lose my bees. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to end this video. I'm going to go mix up some uh, sugar water, organic sugar, <laughs> and bring it out here and put it in here to make sure that these bees have something to eat. I, I, I don't understand. Tell me in the comments, you bee folks, what's happening here? How is it that I can have brood and, and eggs and cat brood um, and not a lick of honey? No capped honey. And I didn't see nectar even in any of the cells up above the brood. Um, I get it. I goofed by adding the frames. You, you know, that's how you learn. I, I don't, I'll, next time I'll, I'll fight the urge to, oh, I don't want them to run out of room. Um, and so let me know in the comments uh, how bad I messed up <laughs> or what you think's going on here. And uh, I look forward to hearing from you and learning from you. I don't know anything. So uh, any, any suggestion I'll take into account. I'll let you know what the, what the consensus is perhaps in a, a near future video. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Subscribe if you want to see some more confusion, more videos showing how utterly confused I am. We appreciate it. Thanks from Alderman Farms. Have a great day.